What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the COA, and uh, we are going to be doing a, another live stream this week, and it'll be joined by a number of guests. And today we've got a lot of things to cover on the channel. We are going to do a recap of our pickums. We're going to talk a little bit about what's coming up with our group. And most importantly, and of all, we've got a number of people on the panel today, so we're going to bring them in one at a time. And the first one up and out of the gate, I am going to bring in Jimmy from Redbeard Breaks, and we've got Jimmy in the house. There he is, What's Jimmy. Up, how are you doing today? Hey, buddy. What's going on? How are you? Not much. It looks like you're supporting uh, West Virginia look today. And oh, yeah, uh, are they are they still in the tournament? Do you know, or is this just a, a a regular a regular deal for you? Yeah, they're still in as of right now. So we'll see. Awesome. Well, listen, uh, welcome aboard, Jimmy. Uh, thanks for uh, for popping in uh, this week. We missed you last week. Uh, it is redemption week for Jimmy here on the COA channel, uh, especially when we get to our pickums. Uh, Jimmy is going to try to, uh, we've only got one hockey game this week, so we're expecting big things from Jimmy this week in the pickum <laughs> department. So uh, all right. uh, next up, we've got in, uh, he's a little bit on the road right now, uh, and I'm sure that if you, uh, he's probably got a musky smell to him. Uh, and that would be Big D, who is on the road in Minnesota. So there he is. Big D, welcome to the stream. Yeah, there is a bit of a musk coming off me today. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing today? We are doing great. And it's awesome to have you, as always, Big D. You are the straw that stirs the drink. And we wouldn't be uh, here without you. And by the, the looks straw of that him, stirs the drink. <laughs> he's got his drink with him. Yeah. And next up on our hit list, we have the one and only Steve Rademacher. Steve Rademacher in the house. And uh, there he is there. Steve has been a consistent uh, one with us each week. How are you doing today, Steve? I'm doing wonderful. How's everyone else doing? Mm, it's been a great day, and uh, it's a good day for the COA to get together to talk turkey here. And we're glad that we got the turkeys in the house to do it. So our, uh, we're going to, before I introduce the next two uh, fellows, we've got a couple of more people that are going to be joining the COA and are going to be with us. And um, we're, uh, this is a first for them on the channel with us uh, this week. And we're really pleased to have them. We do engage with these guys quite a bit off of the, uh, off of the, the stream. And the uh, first one uh, all the way down in sunny Arizona, we are going to welcome to the stream uh, Rad, Dad, and B-Dog. And so let's do that. And there they are. Welcome, Rad, What's Dad, up, and B-Dog. Hello. What's up, How boys? Good, good, guys. How you guys doing? Good. We're doing great. Welcome to the channel, Rocky. And uh, we're really pleased to have you with us to, this week. And, and, and hopefully, based on the last two weeks, uh, we're going to have some more knowledgeable picks with some of the pickums because uh, if we all thought the first week was a struggle, holy geez, uh, the uh, the second week here uh, was uh, was probably equally as tragic. And so this is week three, and so hopefully we can get on the positive on the plus side. If you're looking for tips from us from the COA, you probably want to uh, take the teams we don't pick. That seems to be a method right now. <laughs> we're picking somebody. Go with the other How's it team. going, Will? What up, Chris? <laughs> Welcome to the chat, guys. Thanks for stopping in. All right. And uh, last and certainly not least, we are going to welcome Joe from Like Father, Like Son. We're going to welcome him to the stream. And where is Joe? Are you there, Joe? We are here. Shout out, Hunter. Hi. What's up, guys? Oh, he's got, got Hunter with him, too. Welcome, fellas. And so uh, Joe is also going to join us this week, and uh, he's got one of the most beautiful backdrops going on over there. I think that's pretty cool there, Joe. We get to see the different side. Normally we get to see the front side, but but we can uh, handle that too. We'd like There's to welcome a giant twins logo in there. <laughs> he's getting big D excited. <laughs> we, um, <laughs> We uh, we'd like to welcome those of you to the chat. So we see that we got W Fogs, we got Brewers cards forever, we got JV cards and collectibles in the house. Um, but what I'd like to do uh, today to kick off our our stream is uh, one of the things that has happened in the hobby is uh, many of us and 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 we've talked about this as a group. Uh, we've had different uh, opinions on the Jabs family channel. Um, but I think one thing we can probably all agree upon, he has gotten a lot of people 
back into the hobby. And so one of the things this week, he's made a formal announcement that he has uh, signed a major sponsorship deal with FanDuel. And so I'd like to go around our, uh, our, our table here, and I'd like to, um, uh, to see what some of your thoughts are uh, with, uh, with Jab signing this and, and how that also may impact us positively or negatively in the hobby. So I'd like to kick it off. I'm going to start off with, with Steve Rademacher. And Steve, if you want to give us some of your thoughts of uh, what you think uh, this will do for, uh, for the hobby. Short term for the hobby, I think it's great for both parties involved and then the rest of us. But as we all know, especially in sports or other venues, once a sponsor comes on board, they'll let you run it the way you want to for a while. Be careful, Jabs, because they might get their sticky fingers into it and say, do more of this, do less of that. They might end up running your program now that you've signed your name to the deal. Like I said, right now, great. Great for everyone involved, the people that watch him, FanDuel and Jabs. Long term, I'm not so hyped on it. Okay, well, thanks, Steve. That's an interesting uh, interesting take on that and, and certainly uh, an important take. Obviously, uh, you know, the, the money uh, that you get from sponsors can – have an influence on you because obviously they see you as somebody who may align with them as a potential uh, partner uh, in the sponsorship. And so certainly uh, if Jabs goes in the direction that he wants to go, it may not necessarily be a complete uh, fit. Uh, I'd like to spin it over to, uh, to Jimmy and uh, at Redbeard breaks and uh, what, what's, uh, what are your thoughts on this, Jimmy, uh, with uh, regards to that sponsorship? Um, I guess, I guess it's a good thing. I mean, for him, you know, he's going to, I'm sure he's going to make tons of money off of it. Um, he did, I agree. He did get everybody back or well, a lot of people, not everyone, but a lot of people back in the hobby. But, um, my, my honest opinion is, uh, I agree with Steve. I mean, eventually they're going to tell him how to run things. Um, and plus, uh, my, like I said, my opinion only, uh, I think they could have got a better breaker to do it. Um, uh, myself, I would, I would have went with Phil's pools over jabs. But that's just my opinion. Mm. That's that's a that's a that's a good take. And I see that Brewers Cards Forever mm -hmm. stopped into the chat and offered his opinion. And he says he watched the video and he felt like there was no energy from him. He goes, it really didn't sell him on FanDuel, and he gives it a fail. And so, uh, you know, that everybody's going to have their their different thoughts on it. Obviously, it was the uh, the initial sponsorship, and he he kind of takes through some of that stuff, but. Uh, I think it'll be kind of interesting to see where how that develops, but certainly the announcement of it, and then of course partnering with it. Um, also, um, it'll be it'll be a curious uh, to to track. Obviously, he's one of the larger uh, breakers that are out there. He's got the last time I looked about eighty six thousand uh, subscribers. And uh, with that being said, uh, it, it, you know where do you go from there? How much? What's what's the ceiling in this industry? Uh, is he going to have a whole other jump and attract a whole other group of people to the hobby just because of FanDuel as a sponsor? Maybe FanDuel pumping back to him. So um, let's uh, let's go over to uh, to our friend Big D and see what Big D has to say on uh, on the uh, the sponsorship on on FanDuel. Okay, first of all. I got a really good friend who's breaker right now. His name's Jimmy. We're looking for an awesome sponsor for him. I'm thinking more like uh, Tops or Panini. That'd be really cool if they got over to him. But here's the thing with Jabs getting with FanDuel. Does that mean Jabs is going to be pushing gambling and stuff on his site? I know breaks are kind of a gamble already, but is he going to be pushing people to make bets over with FanDuel? You know, that's another thing it's crossing over to. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm hmm yeah, I wonder if it's going to create a gambling aspect in the community now, too. And I don't know if that's such a great, you know, like kind of a thing to add to a hobby. You know, we already have spending enough money on the cards. Now do you have money to hedge a few bets with uh, the games going on? That's what that's a that's a thing. And he's got a lot of miners who watch his channel, too. So. Now he's pushing like a legal gambling thing on there. I don't know. I got mixed feelings about it. I'm hmm. really happy he went and he got a sponsor. But at the end of the day, do you think it's the right kind of sponsor for what he's doing? Hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's, where, uh, that's where my question or my my aspect is on that. Well, I'm like I said, I'm 
glad he got a sponsor. Cool. And these guys are right. He'll run his channel all he wants for a while, but just watch. They're the ones pumping the money into it, so they're going to be the ones telling him how to do it. Hey, maybe he'll be changing up the ways he breaks. Maybe he'll have uh, a staff now helping him ship his stuff out so his stuff gets out on time, you know? We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's uh, that's it. those are all great points uh, uh, that you, you made there, uh, Big D. And uh, one of the things that I will clarify on that is, is I believe his channel is an over eighteen channel, and you're correct that there could be minors' mm. eyes on the channel. Um, but with that being said, if it was for children only or or wherever else, in fact, I don't know uh, what YouTube sponsorships rules are uh, with that. If it was for made for kids only, I do know this that if you make a kids only video, and I've only got one on my on my channel uh you cannot leave that open for comments it has to be yep. there's no comments allowed on that so i think that's one of the ways because you know when you're over 18 it's a bit of an unfiltered site maybe not necessarily monitored so closely but now you have a situation where um in that situation there it is open to anybody so even though there's minors on it the one point i think that d does make that was a really really good point and that is is that Everybody in our community has a certain amount of money to spend. So like in other words, uh, in your pocket, uh, after you pay for your rent, after you pay for your food, after you pay for everything, you have a certain amount of money to spend, a certain amount of money to spend on cards, a certain amount of money on spending going to the game, on magazines, on your, on your TV subscriptions, whatever it is that you buy. FanDuel being a partner is going into the pockets of whether it be collectors or whoever else trying to get that money, trying to hook you in. So in some ways, it's great that he's getting a sponsor. But at the same point in time, I, I, I wonder, will it affect people's buying habits by saying, you know what, I'm not going to buy a box this week because I'm going to go put $50 on FanDuel. And I, if I lose my $50 on FanDuel, it's gone. And now I'm not going to put that 50 bucks into, into cards this week. So maybe if enough that, people do that, prices of cards will go down. And maybe we can actually find some cards out there in the wild. <laughs> so let me let me spin it over now uh, to uh, to to Rocky, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put Rocky into the into the the catbird seat here, and uh, he's got his son with him today. And so, uh, what, what's your uh, what's your thoughts on this, Rocky, for uh, for Fanduel? Yeah, I think it is great for Jabs. I mean, good for him. He's one of the biggest breakers, if not the biggest breaker on YouTube. Um, but if it does attract even more people to the hobby, I think it's going to be even harder and harder to find product. Um, it's already near impossible as it is now. You know, Bowman will be coming out soon. I think that's going to be impossible to find no on the way. shelves. No uh, we find lucked it. out and pre-ordered some um, some Heritage, which is dropping soon. So we were lucky to get that off the Target website. Um, but, you know, other than that, I think everything's good for the hobby that brings in attraction to more people. I think my dryer is going off right now. So you guys probably hear that in the background. Um, so it's, it's definitely good for the hobby. It's good for the resale side of the hobby. The more people that are in it, the higher the value of cards are going up, but then the more expensive. Where, be. Yep. But where's that ceiling at before the bubble pops? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a good point. And uh, we have a comment in the comment section and uh, Big Ray, uh, Ruby Gray's ball cards and auction says he agrees with Jimmy and uh, and and Brewers. It's lackluster. Now I feel it will take six months to a year to get anything delivered that is bought from him. So I don't have a fifty-one dollar uh, tier Patreon sub. Uh, now I have a FanDuel membership. <laughs> so you know, so that maybe who knows? Maybe, maybe you could turn that FanDuel membership into uh, into into more cards if you're if you're good. Obviously, we've already given the hint on this. If you are watching our pickums, take the other teams. <laughs> we have not had two good weeks of success. So if we were giving you the FanDuel pickums based on this, and how how fascinating is this? We we've we here we as the channel two weeks ahead of time doing the pickums. Now you've got FanDuel sponsoring jobs. And we're just showing you exactly how poorly we're doing it. Pick them. We'd be losing money hand over fist. There's only one guy in the stream who's above 500, and he's not with us today. And that would be the one and only Bud Stoney is still six and one. <laughs> and uh, hey, speaking I of sponsors, you guys see my sponsor I got lately? 
That's a pretty I cool mug that. you got over there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? If I made one suggestion on that, I would love to see that be a black mug or a blue mug and just have the red beard itself pop on that. We, like if, if, if it was red in the beard, so you got the different color around the mug, but then you definitely see the red beard. That's just my two cents, but it is a beautiful Excellent. mug. There you yeah, go. I love it. it. Uh, we'll give it a trial on the next go around for it. <laughs> maybe, maybe that'll be uh, the the series two. Those ones there are a little bit more expensive. They'll be thirty five dollars a mug, and autographed for fifty dollars. How does that sound, Jimmy? Hey, there you go. <laughs> okay, uh, last up, last up in our uh, in our uh, in our stream here today um, with his thoughts on it. I want to flip it over to uh, Joe with uh, like father and like son. So. Let's bounce it over to Joe and uh, find out what your thoughts are on uh, the Jabs family uh, channel. So here we go, Joe. It's your table, man. And Joe, you got it muted. So if uh, you want to uh, unmute, you can. We will be able to hear you loud and clear. And maybe it looks like Joe's frozen. So we'll bounce out of Joe and we'll come back to me for a second because I'm going to offer my thoughts on this. And, and before we tap it out, um, I will say this. I do think that... Um, in my opinion, I think that the, the, the sponsorship is good for the hobby. I, I think it's good overall in general uh, from this perspective. I hope that it brings more eyes onto our channels. And so that would be the, the thing that I think is, is important. Uh, now, I know Steve at the beginning said he's not 100% sure long term that this is the right way to go. Um, but certainly uh, initially here, if it means that there's a different uh, avenue of people that are suddenly looking at the at the cards at the collectible scene, I think that would be uh, that's only can be positive for the hobby. Uh, how it plays out and how it plays out in his videos, um, I guess time will tell. But certainly uh, initially here, if it means that he's going to get a bump in in subscriberships. As I said before, all ships rise with the tide. Maybe it'll affect us all as well in a positive way. So uh, we've got uh, Joe is out. He says his internet's acting up. So we will um, we'll bring him in uh, when it's uh, when it's available. And um, before I, we move on, uh, before we move on, thing, yeah, go ahead there, Jimmy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, one one more thing about having a sponsorship. Okay, so we've all watched Jabs' live streams and. Sometimes he gets really crappy with the people. So what happens whenever he gets crappy with the sponsor? And and that is what I want to see. Um, I want to see how they react, uh, <laughs> you know, to his, to his negativity. So, but I just want to leave it at that. I'm sorry. That, that was one thought I forgot to, uh, to say, Fred. Good thought. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's all, it's all good input, Jimmy. So we, and we do appreciate uh, that, that thought as well. Yeah. Uh, it looks like, uh, kind of looks like Joe is, is trying to get back uh, with us. He's got some internet uh, connection issues. And uh, before we bring him back into the stream, uh, what I would like to do is I'd like to uh, ask a little bit uh, to some of the guys here in the group of uh, what we've got coming up or what you guys have got coming up on your channels <laughs> this week. So uh, let's kick it off with Steve Rademacher. And uh, Steve, what do you got coming up? And, and you can share with, uh, with the stuff here. <laughs> Well, the, obviously, uh, tomorrow's Sunday, so I got my Sunday shout-outs. Monday, I've got some more money for Money, Money, Money Monday to show. And we'll take it from there. Every day is kind of a crapshoot with me. I don't know what mood I'll be in. I don't know what I'll have to show. But we'll take it from there. That's awesome, Steve. And uh, how about you, uh, Rocky? Uh, anything coming up this week on your channel that we should be uh, keeping a note of? Uh, of course, we got a mail day coming up. We had some uh, giveaway wins uh, we just received in the mail. Uh, we also finally found a little bit of retail, of course, in Series 1. So we'll do probably a, um, a hanger box war, maybe even a three-way hanger box war if we can get B-Dog into the stream. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> you never know about B-Dog. Um, and then, you know, depending on what pops up, depending on when that uh, Heritage shows up, we, we'll definitely be doing a video on that as well. That's excellent. And so uh, we'll uh, be keeping our eyes open for uh, Rocky and his channel uh, over the course of this week. Um, I'm not going to carry on with the rest of the guys. We'll bounce on to, to other things right now. We are going to do our weekly pick -ums, And I do want to acknowledge a couple people in the chat. And I see Doug from Don't Talk to Robots is in the house. Doug, welcome. Great, great to see you. And WVlogs is bouncing. 
back in again. And uh, we are, by the way, your stuff went out this week, uh, both uh, Rocky and W Vogs. So we've got some things heading your way, probably uh, out of Canada, probably toward the end of next week or early the following week, depending on how fast the mule can carry it across the country. Um, that being said, I just want to throw this said, out there. Have... I just got confirmation from a couple people that my break stuff is arriving. So when you guys bought from my break, it should be any day that it should be showing up for you guys. Just throwing that out there. I had a little delay getting it out, but it's all out now. Awesome. And we'd also like to welcome JB Cards and Collectibles into the house here today. He's been around earlier, and, of course, uh, he's uh, poked his head back in. Just a real quick, What's going little on, recap, Jack? real quick little recap over the first two weeks of our pickums, and I'm going to bring this up a little bit here. The first two weeks of our pickums, we've not exactly had uh, the greatest of success. In uh, in week one, uh, we had uh, the one and only Bud Stoney go six and one with our pickums. He absolutely dominated. And then we had myself, Steve Rodemacher, and Big D go two and five. And then uh, in in Europe, when you finish in last place in the rugby championships, they give something out affectionately known as the wooden spoon. And that week, uh, Jimmy got the wooden spoon award. Uh, we're getting one currently engraved right now, so you can hand uh, put that up on your mantle for week one, Jimmy. Uh, and right. Jimmy did the big Kahuna. He was 0-7 that week, and unfortunately. But the good news is, is we've only got one hockey game on the slate this week for Jimmy from Redbeard Breaks, so I'm expecting a big, huge comeback for Jimmy uh, to resurrect himself. And being that he's already in the college mode, I'm sure that's going to help him today. Last week, last week we had a three. There was only three of us on the channel, and it was a dead heat, absolutely dead. Uh, it started off like it was going to be a blowout. I I was three and zero out of the gate. I was looking like I was running away with it. And then the next thing you know, I stalled out, never won another game after that. Then Steve Rademacher got hot and won three games, and it didn't look like like Big D was going to be anywhere near us. And then Big D pulled it out in the last two days, and we all ended with a three and four record. So three and four record uh, for the week. Not exactly a stellar week. But this week we have another prognosticator in the house, and that would be Rad and Dad B Dog, and we're expecting to find the knowledge coming from Rocky, and hopefully he's going to be able to uh, he's going to be able to to kick it out. And it looks like Joe is is tapping out because his computer's decided it doesn't want to be a computer anymore; it's going to be something else. And by the way, welcome Adams Card Closet. Always great to see you in the house. All right, so today we are going to kick off our picks, and today we've got NCAA basketball. The tournament is here. It is March Madness at its finest, and so uh, we're going to go around the uh, around the horn here uh, with our group here and see uh, who we're going to take. So today we have at 4 p.m. Pacific time, which is going to be um, 7 o'clock Eastern time, we got number 10, the Maryland Terrapins are going to go up head-to-head -head against number 7, UConn. So let's kick it off with Jimmy and give us uh, who you're loving tonight in that 10-7 matchup, Jimmy. Mm, I'm going to take UConn. Big D. So Jimmy is going to take UConn. All right. Jimmy's got UConn on the board. How about you, Big D? What are you thinking? Maryland. Jimmy took UConn. So he's going with the opposite. <laughs> oh, Love you, here Jimmy. we go. Here we go. What in doubt? <laughs> okay. Uh, Steve Rodemacher, what do you got in the house? Taking the Big Ten in Maryland. He's got Big Ten in Maryland. So I got a theme going on here. What do you got for me, Rocky? Oh, UConn all day. Yeah. Oh, all day. Yeah, you and I just want to make sure that we're pointing out, Rocky, that this is the NCAA men's division, not the women's division, because the <laughs> UConn women's Huskies are absolutely one of the best programs in the nation. That's true. You're in and you're out. So I, I just want to make sure you do know you were picking the men's game tonight. Or UConn's tonight. got this little girl from Minnesota rocking it for that team this year. From Minnesota, that that's probably why the Gopher coaches keep getting fired. They can't keep their yep. uh, their player. That, that, state. I think her last name's like like Euchre or something like that. She's from the cities. There is no little girl from Minnesota. I've well, she's there. big. Oh, oh, good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. 
And uh, I guess I'm the tiebreaker in this event here in, in, in game number one, and I'm a Big Ten guy, so I got to go with the Terrapins. So I'm saying Maryland's going to do it, even though I'm not a big fan of Maryland and their ugly uniforms. But I'm picking Maryland, and I think they're going to they're gonna be the difference maker tonight. Those uniforms are nasty looking, especially when it says Maryland across the front. Ooh, did I say that? Who, yes. who Vogs oh. just said that's the name of the girl from Minnesota. She's a stud. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, he's. Uh, yeah, he must be Paige. Uh, Paige Buchers. Paige Buchers. Yep. Um, he must hey, how about how about bit. we have Joe throw up his answer in the chat for us since he's in the chat? Is if Joe, you still in the chat? There, we'll record that afterwards. That's a good. Uh, that's a good. Uh, good thing. And uh, we got a delay here, so we're gonna move on. And if we uh, see the uh, Joe's pick in the chat. We'll add it to it, and we'll go from there. So our next game also today, we've got a 9-8 matchup. And so, of course, the 9-8 matchup, this is the coin flip, right? You uh, you could see if you you're, who you're going to get. We got number 9, Missouri, going up against number 8, Oklahoma. Number 9, Missouri. And so let's kick this one off with Big D. Ooh. We'll go with the number 9. Uh, you said who was number 9 again? Missouri, yeah, Missouri. Weird. Yep, number number nine. All right, and it looks like uh, it looks like we've got uh, Joe has got uh, Joe is going with uh, with Maryland as well. So he's added his nice into pick, the chat. Joe. Okay, uh, Joe, next up is uh, Steve Rademacher. What do you got for us, Steve? I have to go with North Carolina. Oh wait, Wisconsin beat them last night, Joe. Sorry about Ooh. that. Go wow. with Missouri. I go with the color scheme. Those are my high school colors, black and gold. So you're going with Missouri, and you're firing bullets at a guy who can't fire back because he's out of the stream. That's that's yeah, uh, that's, that's typical that's how I do. move. Oh, that's how I do it. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for the unfiltered uh, North Carolina Friday. I mean, uh, uh, what uh, Steve is going to have on his <laughs> next week where Joe is going to get skewered. Oh, man. All right, Rocky, give it to us, man. We got Mizzou oh, or we got Oklahoma? Not, not based on team colors, oddly enough, but we will go with Mizzou on that one, Missouri. Missouri. Wow, we got a lot of Missouri stuff. So next up is me, and um, I uh, I got to tell you, Cade. It's this is this is showtime for Cade Cunningham. If he's supposed to be one of the top five players picked in the draft, if not the number one player in the draft next year, he's got to step up and play for. Uh, well, actually, uh, sorry, he's with Oklahoma State. He comes a little bit later, not not with Oklahoma. So flip the coin doesn't matter. I'm going with Missouri. I'm staying with the brain trust in this group. I trust in my COA brothers. I'm going with Mizzou. All right, that means Jimmy's got to take Oklahoma. <laughs> 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 what do you got, Jimmy? Uh, I'm going to stick with you guys. I'm going to go with Missouri. He's going with Missouri. If, uh, yeah. if uh, uh, what's his name there? Uh, um, <laughs> good old Joe can put his his, uh, his 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 thoughts in the chat. That would be awesome for us too. The you know the guy who likes North Carolina. So we'll add that there. We got Missouri. So I am confident no matter what happens this week, I'm confident Jimmy will get a point somewhere. Um, our third game, our third game today uh, is, is a number 10, seven matchup. Again, we've got Virginia Commonwealth going up against Oregon and that's a 7 PM uh, tip off on the coast or 10 o'clock Eastern time. So let's kick this one off with, uh, let's go with uh, 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 Steve on this one. Who are you taking, Steve? I'm taking the ducks because it rhymes with one of my favorite words. <laughs> Badger sucks. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> you have to. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, you're going with, uh, he's going with Oregon. All right, Rocky, you let us have it. Yeah, I'm definitely going with Oregon as well. He's also a duck. All right. Awesome. And that would bring it to me. Make sure, Joe, you put your uh, your pick in the comment section. We'll be looking for you here shortly. Um, I am going to also go with Oregon. Uh, Virginia Commonwealth is always a, a, a tough uh, a tough seed in the tournament, especially in the first round. They play tough basketball. I just don't know if they can play tough enough to take out 
uh, Oregon back to back. They've got a lot of uh, history. A lot of Canadian players actually have played there. The biggest one in my mind was Sherman Hamilton, who was a point guard who played at VCU, had a pretty decent career over there, but not good enough for the uh, the NBA. Jimmy, what do you got for us? I'll tell you what. Nothing. I'm going to take the under on this one. I'm going to take the. I'm going to take Virginia. VCU. Right. Yeah. He's got VCU. Going with Virginia, going man. Okay. Big nice. D, you're in the host. Oregon sucks at basketball, so I'm going with VCU also. Oregon's a football school. <laughs> Oregon's a football school and VCU. Well, uh, Joe is also going VCU, so that means that that's yeah. a pretty even split. So that's a toss-up game in our books. Probably a double overtime, one point game could go either way. Okay, we got a couple more for tomorrow, and then uh, we'll close it out. The uh, halfway point tomorrow, we got a 6 3 matchup. So now this goes into round two. We've got Texas Tech at number six, and we have Arkansas at number three. And let's kick this one off with Rocky. What do you got for me, Rocky? Arkansas. Oh, Rad says Arkansas. So <laughs> I was actually going to go Texas Tech, but you know what? We're going with Arkansas. Ooh. And it's Arkansas, the Razorbacks, number three you Razorback. Tell them, Rad. Well, that brings it to me as the next one up, and um, I, I, I have to say that Texas Tech has not played well down the stretch. They uh, probably uh, in the Big Twelve, uh, they, they've not played good basketball. And so, with that being said, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go with uh, Arkansas as as well uh, to win that game. I think they, uh, I, I think they're just uh, in better better shape. We're going to try Joe again, but this time we're going to try Joe live. Let's see if we can bring Joe into the stream. Are you back alive with us, Sarah Joe? I hope so. Yeah. Right. What do you got? <laughs> yeah, my computer decided it didn't want a computer today, so I had to restart it. So we're we back. got ourselves. We got ourselves Texas Tech and Arkansas. Joe, what are you bringing for us, man? You want Texas Tech or Arkansas? Arkansas. Arkansas, Hunter says. Arkansas. So that's three for Arkansas. We go over to Jimmy. Yep, I'm going with the Razorbacks on this one. And he's got Arkansas as well. Big D. Hey, I'm trusting Rad on this one. You better be right, kid. (laughs) (laughs) All right. What do you got for us, Steve? Are we unanimously going to be incorrect, or is one guy going to get this one right? We're all getting it right with Arkansas. Ooh. Yeah, right. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So as soon as this stream is done, I'm heading out to put a few dollars down on Arkansas. You heard it here first. <laughs> unanimous call for the Razorbacks to win. Make sure you go to FanDuel. Uh, yeah. No, let's, yeah. Go, let's, let's go to DraftKings. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, next up, next up, we've got ourselves. Uh, do, 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 do. We got ourselves one more game for uh, tomorrow night. Uh, number twelve, Oregon State is going to be playing number four, Oklahoma State. So, Joe, kick us off for us. Give us your thoughts. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go with Oklahoma State. I just don't like State. anything about Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> well, once you've been there, you'll start to understand why. And it has nothing to do with the beautiful part of the state. It's those who inhabit it that is the challenge. Oh, my sister Oregon. lives up there. I love it there. It's so much fun. Oregon's a bomb. It's absolutely fabulous. Okay, yeah. so what do we got, Jimmy? You've got uh, Oregon State or Oklahoma State? I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm all about upsets, so I'm going to go with Oregon State. Plus, they got a cool the mascot name. Yep. Okay. So we've got. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you said. I'm sorry. You said Oregon State. Is that correct? Yeah, Oregon State. Yep. Oregon State. All right, Big D. I'm following Jimmy on this one. I'm trusting my brother here. All right, we got. I'm gonna Oregon go with Oregon State. State. All right, Steve. Oklahoma. State of Oklahoma State. Oklahoma you, you State. look like a show tune singer. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we start singing the Beatles stuff, uh, you need to uh, you need to start. Oh my attention. God! I'm glad All I right. missed that. <laughs> uh, Rocky, give it to us. Yeah, I don't think Oregon State stands a chance. Uh, Oklahoma State all day. So we got Oklahoma State. 
And uh, I'm going to finish it off and uh, also agree with you guys and say Oklahoma State, as I said earlier, that Cade Cunningham has got to play like a number one. And uh, if he is who we think he is, uh, they show up today and Oklahoma State is going to be the one. We got two left. I'm going to bring Joe back in here and uh, we're going to ask, uh, ask Joe what his thoughts are. We got a hockey game on Tuesday night, or sorry, a basketball game on Tuesday night, a hockey game on Wednesday. The basketball game is a tough matchup. We got the Philadelphia 76ers are going to San Francisco to play the G State Warriors. And so, Joe, you're on the clock oh, for the first one. Mm, man, that's tough. I got to go to Golden State at home, though. So, Joe's taking gonna G be a, State. That's going to be a good game, though. Should be a good matchup. Is Embiid back in the lineup yet? I don't know. I'd have to look. I don't Vlogs, think so. Is he still hurt? And Vlogs will know if he's still in there. Vlogs yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Jimmy, what are you doing? NBA. Um, I'm gonna go with the Philly 76ers. Jimmy's got Philly and the Sixers. Yeah. yeah okay. Man. Big D. Uh, I'm gonna go. I agree with Joe. I think the Warriors have a slight advantage at home. G State. Yeah, they also have the referees too on their side, right? So it's hard to compete against. <laughs> According eight guys to Big on the Ray, court. though, Embiid is back. Embiid is back. All right. Steve Rademacher. Steve Rademacher. Going with my boy, Steph Curry. Mm. So you've got G State as well. Rocky. Hey, remember when your boy knocked the Badgers out of the freaking NCAA tournament? Oh, hey, D's still here. Hey. <laughs> Rad's going to answer this one for us, guys. Golden State, for sure. Rad says He's got nice pick, State. Rad. Yes. And uh, with some brotherly love, I got to support my man, uh, Redbeard uh, Breaks. I'm going with Philly. And uh, I just think that uh, uh, Golden State, although they, they are at home and it does make a huge difference, um, I'm, 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 going with, uh, I'm going with Philly because I just think Philly's a better ball club uh, than, than G State. And um, I just don't know if G State's going to be able to pull it together once they get to the playoffs in the West. I don't know if they'll be a one and done, or 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 maybe maybe they get to the second round. But uh, Philly is the one. So last last one, we got some National Hockey League hockey. I know uh, I know that, that there's going to be some excitement for this. I can just see us. We'll all be right down there coming for the last one. And not only is it NHL hockey, but we're going Canadian style this time in the Northern Division. We've got a matchup between the Edmonton Oilers where I actually lived for a few months, and they have the nicest people in Edmonton. They really do, but I would not want to live there from about September until about April because I think it snows all the time, and you have to have a heater for your car to, to keep the engine warm when, when you leave it at night you plug it in. So any places like that, I don't, I don't want to live year-round. You know, Fred, uh, they say the same thing about people from Minnesota, and then you get to know them. Well, hey, they're great people. Absolutely, it's you got to have a lot of large stones <laughs> to live in Minnesota, man. You got black flies, you got mosquitoes, and you got terrible winters. I mean, those are three strikes. If you want to live in Minnesota, that, all that three good things on you, I'm man. dealing with right now, dude. You got to see the flies up here. <laughs> the mosquitoes are the size of birds. Oh man, and it's it's kind of warm out, but there's still a little bit of ice out there. And you got the vibe. And what I want? Get out of here. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> And when I what I want to qualify for when D says it's kind of warm out, he's telling you that it's about forty one Fahrenheit for the daytime high. Wow, <laughs> that's what a little uh, warm is. I'd say we got windows open. I'd say it's in the sixties. Oh, okay, wow. sorry. Okay, last pick. Last pick is National Hockey League, and we are going to go to Big D for his thoughts. So we've got the Edmonton Oilers in Montreal against the Montreal Canadiens, and so Jimmy, pick Big what D? I pick if you want to get this right. Okay. I'm going with Edmonton. I'm like my boy Connor McDavid. He's a stud. Yeah. I think he's going to pull him ahead. I'm calling maybe two goals out of McDavid today, or whenever the game is. That's Tuesday. on Wednesday night. Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday night. night. He's yep. scoring two goals. I'm hedging that bet right there. Steve Rademacher. Oh, I like Edmonton. I've always been a fan. I think they have a good team right now again, too. Yep. Also known as Edmonton, depending on where you're from. Um, but yes, Edmonton for sure. Uh, Rocky, 
yeah, I'm gonna have to keep it a consensus and uh, and go with Edmonton as well, since especially since I know nothing about hockey. <laughs> that might actually give an advantage uh, to some of you guys when you know nothing about uh, about the hockey. That's that's exactly where it might happen. Uh, I'm In also going to go with Edmonton because they are playing really good hockey right now. This is the best hockey they played in the in the season after they dropped three straight to the Leafs a couple of weeks ago. They've started to turn it around. So I got my money on the Oilers. So Edmonton, it is. Uh, Joe, you're up, man. Uh, I got to go with the Wheeling Nailers. <laughs> He's dropping it. That's a cowbell for crying out loud, flying into the screen there. Uh, <laughs> so, no, I, I gotta go with Edmonton with you guys. I mean, they're they're playing really good right now. I don't. I, I think if they keep this play up, they'll make it deep in the playoffs. So it's got to be Edmonton. Jimmy, it's all up uh, to you. The best goalie is in Montreal, though. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go with Edmonton too. Uh, maybe we'll see Wesley Snipes get some playing time this week. <laughs> that's, <laughs> <Wesley Snipes. laughs> that's that's awesome uh, well listen <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna transition out of our pickums i want to i want to talk to i want to ask a couple of guys what's coming up on their channel this week as as we've been doing so uh let me let me ask uh rocky what do you got coming up on your channel this week and, and before i do that rocky i just want to say hello to bobby catalano who's popped in welcome hey, bobby. 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 That, uh uh, if you're if you're doing more one on one Bobby Catalano cards, uh, there is a market out there. We've all seen that card that Steve Rodemacher now has in his oh, possession. Steve so. loves it. That's his new favorite yes. card, Bobby. Absolutely. Ooh. Top loaded that right out of the gate, and uh, probably going to look to get one of those. Uh, send it into PSA to get it uh, graded as well. So Top we'll see what right happens there. with that. Hey, there uh, it is. Uh, don't talk to robots. It says, hey, Rad, this is Kalen. Ooh, Rad, you might have a fangirl too, buddy. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't see the chat for some reason for YouTube. So everyone I got mine on a computer doing? next to me, so I'm, that's how I do it, Rocky. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. It's all, it's all good. So, so we've got uh, Jimmy uh, from Redbeard Breaks. Uh, can you uh, share with us what you've got coming up on your channel this week? Yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming up, especially tonight. Um, right after the COA stream, uh, me and Fred is going to go live. Fred's going to do an auction, actually. Uh, he has a ton of awesome lots uh, lined up. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. Um, also, after that, around 7 Eastern time, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we will be going live on Redbeard Breaks, uh, the newer weekly breaks, uh, and some personals, and uh, lots of awesome stuff coming up tonight, man. Nice. It's pretty good. And uh, what let's, up, let's, dog? Go, let's go over to Rocky and uh, find out what uh, Rocky's got coming up uh, on his stream for this week. So, yeah, we got some giveaway wins. One is from Don't Talk to Robots. We got to see what uh, show everyone what we won from his channel. Uh, one from NB Collectibles came in. If you guys aren't familiar with NB Collectibles, make sure you check him out. Also up in Canada. Uh, and probably a hanger box war. Hopefully, Big D's package shows up from his break so we can get into that on our channel as well. Yep. Uh, maybe Tommy. Some people just got Tommy. their packages, so they should be arriving anytime. Nice, nice. We got some stuff from Tommy's breaks coming in, and hopefully that new 2021 Heritage shows up. Get into some blaster Ooh. boxes. Ooh. And uh, I see big, uh, big Ray's posted up in the channel just to let us know that Embiid's status is back to unknown as he's got a deep bone bruise. So he's suggesting he's probably not back. But I'm still taking Philly and Ben Simmons anyway. It doesn't change my picks. I'm sticking true to the uh, to the Sixers. Let's um, go Dub City. One last piece here. Uh, we'll we'll give ourselves a shameless plug as well. Coming up on our channel this week. Um, we've got, uh, obviously, as Jimmy suggested, we're going to be on his channel, uh, today doing the, uh, high end auction. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff that we're going to be pumping out. Um, we have a, uh, the home run challenge is on our channel. That's still open until March 31st. We are giving away a autograph, tri-star autograph baseball that will open after the challenge is done. You got to pick three players who you think is going to hit the most home runs between uh, opening day, April 1st and June 30th. And, uh, you got to leave your names and leave those picks in the comment section. So be sure to stop by our channel, uh, enter entrance is free, but you must be subscribed to the channel to win. 
Um, the other thing is, is we've got uh, this week, it is uh, opening week next week for the Nippon professional baseball season. And we are going to be doing live commentary uh, starting Friday at nine o'clock Pacific midnight Eastern, the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks, the four time defending champions are going to play the Chibalote Marines. So we're going to do some commentary on that Saturday. We have the, uh, sorry, actually, Friday, we're going to do the Rakuten Golden Eagles and the DuPont Ham Fighters. And uh, the Rakuten Golden Eagles, uh, I'm anticipating that we're going to see Masahiro Tanaka start the former New York Yankee. He's returned to Japan. And, of course, the Nippon Ham Fighters have lost Shohei Otani and the, now Kohei Arihara, who is a Texas Ranger, uh, to Major League Baseball. It may be their first-round pick from a couple years ago, Kosei Yoshida, the big right-handed uh, star high school pitcher that may make his debut and get the opening date nod. Um, then on Saturday, it's going to be the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks and the Chibalote Marines. And then that will be followed by the Cebu Lions and the Oryx Buffaloes. And Oryx is uh, Adam Jones's team. And so Adam Jones, uh, in his second year, former Baltimore Oriole, uh, Arizona Diamondback, Seattle Mariner, uh, holding it down there. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, we're going to transition out of here. We don't have a ton of people in here, but I would like to turn the floor over to D because what we'd like D to do is D is going to do a stack poll today, and he's going to. But but before he does the stack poll, we're going to have it kind of going on in the background if anybody wants in. But D needs to take some time to explain to the audience what the stack poll is because there are some people even among our group who don't exactly know what the what the stack poll may be. So D. I'm throwing it over to you, man, and it's all yours. So there you go. So what I got here is I got a stack of 100 cards, and it's a variety of cards. There's probably about 30 autos in there, about 20 cards with slips with uh, graded cards in it. There are relics in there. There's rookie cards. There's vintage. And what I'll do is I'm doing $4 a pull, or else we'll do three pulls for 10 bucks. And what I'll have you guys do is give me a number, one through 100. And when you give me the number, I'll count down the stack and you'll receive that card out of the pull. Whoop. And then, like I said, there's some pretty good stuff in there. The One of the prizes in there, if I've got a complete set of 27, 2007 tops in there, there's a yellow slip that says that. There's a printing plate card in there. There's just all sorts of good stuff in there and three dollars shipping but if you spend ten dollars in there i'll do the free shipping so if you buy three spots out of it free shipping all the way and what i want to do to get this thing going off is hey rad why don't you give me a number i'm going to hook you up with a spot out of here so give me a number one through a hundred and i'll show you how it works uh my number Oh, hang on for half a second there, D. Before, sure. And I'm sorry to interrupt you, and, and I don't want to let uh, Rocky and his, and his boy uh, down there. Um, you probably want to indicate which is number one and which is number 100, especially if people walk the top in, in the middle is of the one, break. The bottom is okay. 100. So I'll start from the okay. top, and I'll pull them out, and I'll count them as I pull them out. And then every time I make a sale, I will be reshuffling and adding more cards to it. And there are some really nice cards in there. There's some good chase cards in there. There's a numbered Lou Bob in there. Like, like I feel all these cards are worth it. If you, and like I said, there's like a one in three chance you're going to pull an auto because there's 30 some autos in this stack. And I have this many sl tickets for graded cards in there. So there's a whole stack of graded cards in there. So there's some pretty good value in here. People are willing to try it. Yep. Yeah, all right. Well, that's that sounds pretty cool. So uh, let's see what we uh, let's see what we got uh, got up here. So you said uh, uh, Rocky's son there. Uh, B dog's yeah, gonna get you give uh, me a, number a number or rad. Um. Sorry, Rocky. Twenty-seven. Okay, good. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't give me a big number, so it'll be easy to get to. <laughs> Mike, right, Mike Trout's number. Yeah, Mike, Mike Trout's Okay, you guys yeah. ready? And I'll count them as we go. One, two. I don't want them to fall out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 
26. Oh my God. You hit the banger. We got the top set. You just won this one, buddy. Nice work. I'm the first one. The first one. And oh. I'll be adding other sets to this too. So that's a pretty cool set, buddy. That one's got the Alex Gordon yeah. rookie and it's got the Dice K rookie in it. Nice. So nice pick, man. Would you look at my stack ahead of time? <laughs> oh wow nice that's, work that's buddy awesome. i couldn't have you be happier and what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna shuffle these back up and i'll put them in and i have another card to add in there so that was one of the hits so i'm gonna replace it with a hit so i'll show you guys the next hit i'll put in there how about we will go the We will do the 94 upper deck Michael Jordan insert right there. That's about a $25 card on eBay right now. So nice. I'm going to shuffle that back in the deck. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be able to go back. See, I'm going to pull some out here too. And then if anybody's interested, I'm just throw them in there. And I'd like I to will welcome make some sales. One, of their, one of our COA brothers to the chat. And uh, we've got Ta uh, Hollis is in the house. So there's Hollis. Hollis! And, Hollis, uh, I pulled my first gold. We miss you, Hollis. We miss you. We love you, man. <laughs> and okay, uh, we shuffled got... them back up. Let me shuffle these two. But keep going, Fred, as I reshuffle. Yeah, we got. Uh, we got some love from Big Ray's ball cards and auctions. That was awesome, Rod. Yep, giving you the yeah. thumbs up, man. Yeah, good job, big fella. Yeah, three thumbs up for sure. And so we've got uh, obviously we got Hollis in the house. There he is. Yeah, bud. Good to see you there, Hollis. Yeah, bud. Yeah, we're missing you. And uh, while we're waiting, uh, the one guy we didn't get to uh, for the channel, and I'm going to ask uh, Joe uh, what he's got uh, coming up. Has he got anything coming up on your channel this week, Joe, that you want to let the audience know about or what your plans are? Yeah, Fred. Uh, actually, uh, we had to take a couple weeks off. Um, we had a lot of stuff going on here at home. But uh, on Monday, we are doing a massive Monday mail recap um we've got probably like eight or nine packages we're going to be going through and then we'll be back back friday for another friday fun day for you guys awesome. hmm. okay Fred, looks like i got i got a tech or a message on here from doug it says he wants to take three so you want to confirm that doug and then jimmy you're getting all crazy on me taking five brother wow Jimmy's going to take nice. five. All right. That sounds yeah, great. We'll let Doug go first because I saw his first, but we'll see. We'll see what you guys pull. There's some good stuff in there. Rad already cleaned house, took one of the big hits. But like I said, there's even bigger hits in there. All right, Doug, why don't you give me three numbers, one through 100? Hollis and is asking how much it is. It's four dollars a pull, Hollis, or three for 10 bucks. Uh, it's uh, if, uh, free shipping after $10. It's three dollars before that. In Hollis, if you're wondering how the count is, uh, number one is at the top, number one hundred is at the bottom. And Doug is giving you three numbers there, D. He's All giving right, you I twelve, fifty-five, and eighty-eight. As Carl, opposed I gotta to be doing a lot of counting. Steve's probably surprised I can count that high. Okay, here and, we go, and, Doug. And, and hang on for okay. a second, Big D. Before we do this, I know I know some of the guys know who you are and where you're at. But uh, what's your what's your PayPal? Is it D Moger? Oh, it's here Moger D at Yahoo.com. Jimmy, can you post that for me? Yeah, I am. I'm working part. on it right now. Moger D at Yahoo.com at Yahoo.com. M O G E R D at Yahoo.com. There you go. All right, and uh, we can do it this way, and we'll add the banner. Hollis, give me go. a minute. I got to do it each person, and it gets shuffled. So. I'm disregarding your numbers at the moment, okay? But I respect your numbers. Yeah, okay, so you guys first ready? Up, first, up is, uh, first up is Doug, and then the next up would be uh, Jimmy because Jimmy had already asked for five spots. So Jimmy can either uh, decline it and pass it to, to Hollis, 
or uh, and let Hollis get his picks next, or Jimmy can have his five spots. So have your numbers ready there, Jimmy. Once we do Doug's uh, Doug's three spots. Okay. All no right. Problem. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Ooh, that's a banger. The Mariano Rivera 93 Bowman. That's a nice card right there. Nice card. Very nice mm -hmm. card. It's about eight to ten dollar card. Okay, we're at twelve. We need number fifty-five. So thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. God, you're making me count a lot. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, let me set these on the side. 49. They start moving around if you don't stack them straight. Okay. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. You got a Gavin Lux Diamond King rookie card. Now we're at 88. 56, 57, 58. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. Ooh, and you pulled a graded card. An 88. You got a GMA 1972 Harmon Killebrew. Let me pull that out wow. for you. Nice. For 10 Whoa. bucks, dude, you cleaned house, man. The 72 is right here. And you pulled a Harmon Killebrew wow. GMA 6. Not bad for 10 bucks. Like I said, that, that first card you pulled would goes for 10 bucks all day on eBay. So mm -hmm. nice, Doug. Nice pickups, man. All right, give me a second here. Let me shuffle these. I got to add three more cards to the th stack. I'll show you the three cards I'm adding in so we know. Yeah, a few more to the stack after the beer spilled on yep. uh, that. So we're back pile. to 100. I'm going to add this Ken Griffey Jr. Electric Diamond. And then I'm going to reshuffle them quick. Here, we'll keep the, we'll put another King Griffey Jr. Electric Diamond. Those are pretty sweet inserts. And we'll go a Bowman's Best, Lewis Robert. So we know it's all good stuff in here. And who is going to be the next one here, Jimmy or Hollis? It's going to be uh, Jimmy because Hollis says age before beauty. Oh, yeah. Okay. Give me a second here, Jimmy. I'm and shuffling after them up. After after Hollis, we have Big Ray has uh, said he will do uh, six for twenty bucks. Nice. Wow. God, I so. hope I can count that high. Steve, mm -hmm. you surprised him counting that high or what? We we have Jimmy's numbers in the house. So uh, once you've uh, okay. uh, shuffled and got everything there, Jimmy's got two, seven, twenty-one, forty-two, eleven, and thirty-two. Is that right? Yeah, I, right. I decided to yeah. take six, uh, D. I decided to go ahead and take six. So. Okay. So, so I'm going to try to do them in order there. Okay. Well, you got so two 7-Eleven because he's – yeah. 7-Eleven is my birthday. That's a good pick. Okay, here's one. Here, let me get this all on screen yeah, and so rather, you guys can maybe see. Maybe rather than counting it out, so JBK Collectibles has come in and he wants to know what's happening. And so what we've done is uh, this is what's called a stack pull, JBK. And what we've got is he's got 100 cards uh, from 1 to 100 from top to bottom. It's $4 a pull or 3 for Team bag bucks. these for Doug. Free shipping over ten dollars, and basically what happens is, is you get the card that he pulls uh, randomly out of that stack with the number that you provide him. So that's what we're explaining. That's what a stack pull is, and this is what D is is going through and explaining to those who are in the channel today. So go ahead, D. Sorry for the interruption. Um, oh, you're but good. That's what we're asking in the chat. Okay, number one. Okay, number two is a purple 2020 Donruss Pete Alonzo parallel. 
Okay, mm. what's the next number on Jimmy's? We'll go seven. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Jimmy, you pulled a graded Killebrew. Nice one, bro. Nice. nice. Okay, I'll pull that out and show you really quick, the one you got. You pulled the 74. It's a 6.5 out of GMA, Harmon Killebrew. That's nice. a sweet card. Okay. Uh, next number on that list is 11. So 8, 9, 10, 11. Ooh, check that out. Rocky should know who this is. Gene Elston, autograph. Gene he Elston. Is, Who's that? He is the Astros announcer for a long time. Maybe oh. Rad would know. And that one's numbered 445 out of 500. That's a pretty sweet auto, actually. It's actually worth a few bucks. Can you, send that, that number? Can, can you send that one to Rad, actually? I'll, I'll pay for his shipping for it. Oh, I, I got – he's got a box going already, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just throw that with that stuff. Awesome. Okay, yeah, yeah I man, definitely bro. will. I'll put it with that yeah, set. Buddy. Okay, now we got what's after 11. Does it look like 21? Okay, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You got a Cunha Decades Next Tops Chrome. Nice. Okay. Nice. Mm, that's nice. Yep. And then what's 32 would be next. Okay, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 is a Mike Trout Diamond Ooh. King, which I got from Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Coming back to you, bro. And then you got 42. So 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. You pulled a Bowman's Best Lubob. Oh, nice. That's wow. a sick card, Jimmy. I definitely like that one. Okay, so let me replace these in the stack. You took five, so I'm going to put pick out five more cards to put in. I'll show you the five cards so people know they're good. How about we'll do uh, Contenders, Wander Franco. I just got this out of a break, I think, from Jimmy. We will go with – I got this one from Jimmy, too. A 75, Joe Morgan. Ooh. Yeah, there's some good ones I'll put in there. You know what? To go with that Wander Franco, we'll do the Dominguez. Oh. And then how about we'll change it up a little bit. We will do uh, – but we'll go with a, a Scherzer first day production rookie card. Scherzer. It's a pretty nice card. That's the first day issue production. <laughs> then for the final one, we will go with – well, let's put in another Dominguez, the power producer. Nice. Okay, let me shuffle these up, and then Hollis, throw me some numbers. Hollis is in the house still. I think he's there, but he did throw you some numbers earlier, and then I earlier. think you've got um, – Yeah, let me go back and have a peek here. So Hollis, if he still wants 10-19. Shuffle them up 10, 19, and 42 were what Hollis was asking for. Okay. So there there it is, a little still bit of the a same numbers. Here. Yep, he's got All 10, right. 19, and 42. No Hopefully you pull some fire, brother. Hollis, I keep telling you, I pulled my first gold last night. First gold. I'm super excited. All right, here we go. All right, 10, 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my God. Check it out. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> and on that note, with that card, you get the choice of the would you like the the high school card or the minor league card? Yeah. So bye. would you like card number one or card number two? <laughs> Which one do you like better, number one or number two?
Yeah, that fish tank want to stay in there. He <laughs> says number number one. Yeah, number one. Okay. All right, that's in your stack, yeah. Hollis. All right, now we're on number nineteen. So, eleven. Joey Votto. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Oh, Hollis! Look at this shit. Boom! Woo! Look what you want, son. Pretty plate. Yes, sir. Is that a? Is that a? Uh, got, is that a? Oh, is that printing oh. plate of Jason Stokes? No, it's not. But it oh. is a one of one. Hold on. What's the brand? Leather and lumber. Jose Barrios blue. Oh. That is a one of one printing plate. Not bad nice. for pulling ten bucks. Nice one, Hollis. That is sick, and it does come in a one touch. So you're on fire, bro. On fire. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we and, got. Uh, just, just so you know, D, once uh, things, uh, we reshuffle the deck, Big Ray's given us his numbers as well. Okay. So, uh, 42. Then, one left. Okay. Yep. Okay. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. He pulled a Scott Diamond auto, and he is a Scott former Diamond. twin. And he's a Canadian yeah. from Guelph, Ontario, left-handed pitcher. Oh. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm he, sorry, went Hollis. Bing <laughs> he went to Binghamton <laughs> University. Binghamton University in New York. We can York, look on the I'm back. Not. Does it say anything about it? See if uh, no nope, doesn't give any him. info on where he's from. It just said he was a AAA affiliate. So nice, yeah. you got the printing plate, the Jason Stokes, and an auto for ten bucks, Hollis. Nice pickups, bro. Okay, yeah, he went to I'm Binghamton, and and he went to Binghamton, and he did have a good season in Minnesota in 2012. He was 12 and nine with a 3.54 yep. ERA. And I do remember starts, him so. playing for us. I remember him yep. being pretty decent. Okay, so now I got to replace it with three more cards. So we are going to go with the Barry Bonds Power Brokers Leaf insert. That's a sick insert. We're going to go with the Alex Rodriguez Upper Deck Rookie. That's an 8 to $10 card on eBay. Mm -hmm. Whoopsie. And, and uh, just a couple of other things to, to type in. If you're interested, the, the PayPal for uh, D is below. It's mogerd at yahoo.com. And of course, obviously, we're promoting the uh, the stack polls because stack polls are kind of neat. I've seen a number of these on Facebook and on different uh, different ones. Not so much within our community, but the stack polls can be uh, can be pretty cool. And they are different. Uh, how can I say it? Some can be operated a little bit differently. So this is mm -hmm. how he is operating his. Uh, there are other people that choose to do theirs uh, with a slight different twist. Sorry, D. Go ahead. Put a Luda, Lubab, Chrome. Is this the update? Chrome update rookie card. Those are the three I'm re-entering in there. There's still a lot of graded cards left in there. Tons of autos. Like I said, there's vintage cards. There's awesome rookies. And other coolness. Okay. I kind of want to shuffle both stacks so it's not all... Hey, Fred. Yes, Smell my finger. Um, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to, to bounce out. Uh, I got to run to the store real quick. But whenever I get back, uh, we'll. Uh, I'll go live with your auction. Uh, but I just yeah. want to let everyone, let everyone know that I really appreciate you guys coming in to check us out again today. Yeah, thank you, uh, Jimmy, and thank you guys for always having me, and I really appreciate it. So, uh, but we'll see you here in a little bit, man. Sounds good, Jimmy. Just send me the link, and we'll get everything set up and ready to rock and roll. You, you All got right, it, Ray. Here we go, soon. sir. Later, Jimmy. Right, thank you. Good luck. Yeah, later, Jimmy. Bye. Thanks for coming on, brother. Later, guys. Have a good one, Jimmy. See ya. <laughs> All right, here we go, Ray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, you pulled a relic of Shannon Stewart, but what's sick about this relic? It's a 2004 studio. This is numbered to five. There's only five of this one. Hmm. So that's a sick, short print, short numbered card. That is awesome. Nice relic pull there. Okay, we got 11. Okay. 8, 9, 10, 
Ooh, you pulled the Lou Bob Chrome update. Nice. That's number 11. 12 is the Griffey Electric Diamond card. Nice card there, too. I love those electric diamonds. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, look at this one. Bam! <laughs> it's kind of a want want, but it's a cool card. So want to tell me if you want number one or number two. And I'm not breaking them over my head today. <laughs> Let me know which one you want, Ray. Number one or number two? It'll be a bit of a pause here, usually on the delays. So yeah. We'll get Ray up here in a second. He's coming in there. I got to go back to how do you look at the chat? What are his numbers again? Because my chat went up. Yeah, we'll let uh, you know. He's got uh, 7, 11, 12, 22, okay. 27, and 73. Okay. Okay, here's and 23. And he says number, number is the uh, is, okay. is what he would like for the Stokes. Okay, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. You got a Zach Granite Auto out of Gypsy Queen. That's a cool card. And no, it is not numbered. What came after 27, Fred? Uh, after 27 is uh, 73. So that would be the last number. So that would be a sixth one. So you got a ways to okay. go. Okay. Yes, we do. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I'm going to move this stack out of the way. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, and 73 is a Wander Franco Contenders winning ticket. That's a sweet card. It's Franco. Nice. Yes, sir. Yeah, nice card. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he wanted the number two Stokes. Yes, he did. Yes, he okay. did. Number two Stokes. Yeah. Awesome. So I got to well, add we'll six do, uh, more to we're the gonna stack. Do a, uh, we're going to do a final call on the stack pull. If anybody else wants in, uh, we're going to do a final call right now. And uh, if not, we um, we'll we'll give it a moment here. If anybody else wants in, yeah, we uh, appreciate we everybody who bought in. We want we want to take three spots, brother. Heck yeah, bro. Okay, let me right, get my so cards together spots. that I'm going to add, and I'll show you guys what's going in. One more here. I'm trying to pick some pretty decent stuff to add to compensate what got pulled out. Okay, the six new ones I'm adding is a uh, Future Stars Wanda Franco out of Contenders, the yellow variant of Pete Alonzo out of Diamond Kings. The good old trustworthy, awesome 2021 tops Lubab. Another Lubab rookie. The rookies and stars out of what is that one? Chronicles. We got a Andy Pettit Donner's rookie card. And then a Jeter Future Stars. So let me shuffle these up. Man, Rad's gonna clean house here, I bet, because he already pulled one of the big hits with just the free gas. Right. Yeah. And there, like I said, there's still plenty of autos in here. There's plenty of rookie cards, lots of vintage. And the vintage are of good players, too. It's not like junk vintage. AD, we've yeah. got uh, Big Ray's confirming. We're running across the bottom. It's mogerd at yahoo.com. Is that correct? Yep, but it's lowercase. Doesn't Which is what the yeah, it doesn't matter. The M and matter. the D are lowercase. Yep. I don't know if that matters or not. No, doesn't matter. 
Okay, cool. Let's pull some graded cards or some sick autos. I mean, they're not all crap autos either. There's some pretty decent players in there. Right, okay, who was up? Rad and Dad? Yep. Give me some uh, numbers, Brewers cards. Brewers cards forever says friends and family or goods and services. What would you prefer? You know, I'll whatever. I, I trust you guys. If you, it doesn't matter to me. I know it costs a little bit out of my pocket if you go goods and services, but it's all good. These are cards that are out of a collection of mine that I, it's like I'm not here to make a ton of money. I'm just glad to move them. Nice. Let's go with 17. Twenty-two, okay. Sixty-nine. Okay. Fifty-nine. Sixty-nine. All right, all right. That's Jimmy's number from earlier. Okay, seventeen, twenty-two, and sixty-nine. Yep. So Adam's okay. card closet. Adam's card closet says, "Are these for sale?" So, so yes. Adam, if, if you want to adjust your your stuff there, um, just so that Adam knows. We're doing a stack pull. It's four dollars a pull, three for ten dollars. It's three dollars shipping, and it's free after ten bucks. So what you'll do is, you know, you'll give the numbers to uh, to D. He goes down. He picks off what numbers uh, you are going to get from the stack. Number one is at the top. Number one hundred is at the bottom. And we're just going through and doing some of that stuff for everybody here to uh, to kind of get used to what a stack pull is, because not everybody in our community does that. So yes, are they for sale? Uh, yes, they are. There's spots you can buy into, and that's the price. Okay, I already forgot the numbers. You said 17, 22, can you, uh, can you, and 69. Yep. Can you just okay. pop it in the chat there for us there, D, or I'll, I could do it for He doesn't you. have they, a chat, but I got him now. Sorry, Rocky, what do you have there again? 17, 22, and 69. Here we go. One. There you go. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen is a Joe Benson auto out of Bowman Platinum from twenty eleven. It's another twin. It's not loaded with twins. There's just about ten twins autos in here, but there's all okay. sorts of different autos from other teams. Okay. Here's number 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Ooh, okay. You got a Nelly Cruz. This one's numbered 53 of 60. It's the, I don't know what parallel it is, but it's a parallel. Nice. And it's a numbered one, too, out of 60, out of uh, Prism. That's the year of Prism I really like. And then 69, right? Yep. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let me get those out of the way. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. These are out of the way. Next round I do this, I'm going to have a bigger space. I'm kind of in a confined space. 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, you got an A-Rod, alumni. This is one of his rookie cards. Out of Upper Deck. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I'll put those along with your set here and your Gene Elston gifted to you from Jimmy. Thank you, guys. Awesome. And now I'll add three more just in case anybody else wants to do it. We will go with... A Pete Alonzo update rookie. We got here. We'll put in a. We'll go a Jalen Davis autograph out of Contenders. It's a cool Giants auto. And then how about we'll throw another one out of Contenders auto? Uh, 
what's his name? Tanner Burns, TB, numbered out of 75. What a crappy auto. <laughs> just say it, just because it's a lazy auto there. Let me shuffle these up, just in case. Anyone right. else wants know. to do it? I don't know if we've got anybody else in, and I think we're going to close her off there. Oh, we got Brewers Cards Forever wants in. So... <laughs> You got three of them, Chris. Let yep, me shuffle them the up, sir. There. So why awesome. don't we close it off after Brewers Cards Forever here, D, and then we can wrap up our stream. We want to get off the air by half past. So this is yep. our last one. This is Brewers Cards Forever. He's got 16, 34, and 42 in and his And another stack. announcement on my uh, stacks I'm doing here. I'll be doing these with Jimmy coming up, too. So I'm going to be loading them up with even better cards and more hits and whatnot. And I'll be participating on Redbeard's Breaks doing these things. So keep a watch out for it. And okay, here, less go ahead. for the Twins. <laughs> twins are good. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go, Chris. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You've got a Scherzer Stadium Club rookie card. That's a sick card, actually. That thing goes for over five, six bucks. Max Scherzer, Diamondbacks. Okay, we got seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. All right, you pulled a graded card. Another want, want kind of guy. You got a PSA 10, Louis Montez, another guy I've never heard of. But it is a PSA 10, Jem Mint. Nice. Cubs. Any Cubs fans ever heard of them? And then 42. Okay, 35, 36, 37, it's a couple of, 38, it's a couple of, 39, couple of 40, 41, D. 42. Another Zach Granite rookie. Auto. Out of Donruss. Go ahead, Fred. D, we've got somebody in here for the first time called The Best. I don't know who he is. You can send your PayPal payment to Moger D. He's thrown out three numbers. I don't know if you've got the, the payment has arrived yet for that. Uh, he wanted three numbers, and Big Ray wanted one more spot at 10 picks. And then uh, at that point, uh, we have closed we'll off the – We'll be closing uh, it down, yeah. Hold on. The, let um, me get the new ones to add in. I don't know Where'd if you've I got a payment. Him? You can send your payment to MogerD at yahoo.com, and uh, Big Ray wants a one more spot of three picks. Yeah, or, that's cool it. with me. So the best, as soon as I get payment from you, I'll do yours. All right, we are going to put in. Yep. We'll go with uh, Manny Ramirez, top prospect rookie out of Pinnacle. We'll do the something not so crazy. Well, good ones, but yeah. We'll go with Nomar, Future Stars. Nomar. Nomar. And then a Frank Thomas, Electric Diamond. Let me shuffle these up. Big Ray, you already paid the, if you got three spots, the shipping's free. Okay, did you send payment yet the best? It would be $10, and then the shipping is free. And then my email is also my PayPal, so email me your address. Yep. So you are you can see across, it's running across the bottom of our stream here. It's mogerd yep. at yahoo.com. So if you choose to go in that way, then you've got that. So we will do yours as soon as you, his payment is confirmed and received by D at his end. The best um, is your – I got Chris. I got uh, Rocky. I'm just – you got to make payment if you want to do the stack. Yep. We'll give you a couple more minutes here because we're going to bump off in the next five minutes. So 
I want to see what These I will get. will be the last paid. two here, and I'm calling it. <laughs> I don't think it works that way the best. He says, I want to see what I get, then pay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, man. That's not a stack pull. <laughs> yep. Hey, Chuck Dupree, how you doing? Welcome aboard, man. Great to you, see me, you. and my buddy Chuck Dupree. What's up, Chuck? <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're going to be going to uh, Big Ray's uh, next, and uh, unless we get uh, payment from the best in a moment here. All right, Ray, why don't you just shoot me off the numbers because I got other stuff I can add into it too. There's still a bunch of graded cards cards to go. There's still a bunch of autos. There's a bunch of good rookies. There's there's a Okay, I got Big Ray's payment. So hey Big Ray, throw me your numbers. The best. You didn't pay. We were telling you you gotta pay. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, sir. We asked you multiple times. I don't know who you are. <laughs> okay. Four, five, and 99. 55 and 99. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, Big Ray, you pulled a Stokes. Nice. <laughs> Another one. Do you want... I got either... <laughs> A or B? It's pay to play the best, man. A or B? Okay. Put that one aside with Big Ray. And then you wanted 55 and 84. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Let's get these out of the way. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. You got a. Adam Walker, auto, another twin. <laughs> so, D, I want to let you know uh, the reason I hid that guy because uh, him and Yo, what's up? They're both bots. So, that's the reason I hid Okay. Him. Well, he served the country, he said, and he can't even spell words right. So, yeah. good for him. Yeah. Okay, there's 55, the Adam Walker. See, there's Along another with your one. Stokes. The Aaron Judge one. Yeah. Also, also a bot. Okay. And then we have number 84 coming. So, 56. 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. Got an Albert Mejia. Donis rated rookie auto. Another twin. I got. I gotta say, <laughs> as you're doing this here, Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy's, uh, he's got the ice going on here, and I can't do it quick enough, man. And look at, we got another one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so already, you already pulled got the the two Jeez. autos and the Jason Stokes. Add to your stack. That's a waste awesome, of ten Awesome. Months. All right, guys. I appreciate you buying off these, and like I said. Jimmy and I are probably going to do these again coming up on his stream, and I'll reload it with some other hits. I'll put some more complete sets in there. I'll find some more graded cards, and we'll make this a pretty awesome deal. So appreciate everybody buying in. And Fred, 
it's at an hour and 29 minutes, you know, where we're at here. Yeah, so let's do this. What we're going to do is we'll uh, do our send-offs uh, as per. I'm going to start off with uh, D himself because he's been the uh, the lead dog here for the last uh, uh, 30 plus minutes or so. And it was, uh, was awesome. And so, you know, just to show people, uh, you know, a little bit about the stack poles and how they kind of work. And obviously there's, there's different people out there who do do it. And, uh, obviously, uh, uh, D has got, he's grinning like the Cheshire cat, man. He looked like he had a lot of fun over there doing that. Yeah, so, I made the uh, money, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I'm going to say is just wondering what's going on, on my channel this week. All I got to tell you is jack shit. And I'm probably going to jump on with Jimmy once or twice. That's all I'm doing this week. Been really busy. I'm up visiting people right now, so I am not around. And thanks for buying in, you guys. Send me my emails, my PayPal. So I got confirmed payment from most of you guys. Send me your addresses, but I also have a lot of your addresses, too. Some of you guys just got some packages sent out for me from the break. So it'll be easy to contact you guys. So thank you again. Appreciate you buying in, and I will be doing these again. Maybe I'll get some better fire. All right. Well, listen, that was great having you, Big D. We look forward to seeing you during the week, man. Thanks a lot for stopping in. Jimmy, I love you. Love you, bud. <laughs> All right, well, later. We're going to bounce it next over to Steve Rademacher, and we'll throw it out to you, Steve, for your goodbyes today on the channel. Yeah, bud. Absolutely. I thank everyone for stopping in, watching, and being entertained. If you haven't checked out yesterday's No Filter Friday yet, and I'm talking to you, Jimmy, you better do it. There's All something right. there for everybody, something there for you. But no, check out everyone's videos. I enjoy my No Filter Fridays. It just lets me get stuff off my chest in a not-so-childlike manner. But anyway, <laughs> no, everybody, just remember, be excellent to each other. Go watch everyone's videos. If it's not your thing, don't thumbs down. Don't hate speech. Just move on. Find something that's your speed. Treat us like you want to be treated. Respect. And as always, peace. Uh, thanks a lot uh, for being here, Steve. We love you, man. All right. And uh, the next up for us here, uh, I'd like to pass it over to uh, Rad Dad and B-Dog. And so uh, your opportunity to say some goodbyes here on the channel. And so... Appreciate you being here. Yeah, first of all, I appreciate you guys having us here. This was a lot of fun today. I know Rad especially, he loves to go live. He, he lives for this. I, <laughs> I asked him earlier, Rad, you want to go live? And he was like, of course I want to go live. Like, what kind of question is that, Dad? Um, so we had a blast. I thought that uh, pack pull was really cool that Big D had going on. It's a really cool idea. I've never seen one of those before. 27. I'm too big. Um, and yeah, of course, Rad picked out two base numbers. That's why. Um, but if you guys haven't seen our last video, we pulled a banger of a card, so please check that out for us. And um, I wonder. Uh, like I said, we really appreciate you guys having us on today. It was a really good time. I and, uh, won. Peace to everybody. See you on the next time. Thanks, Rocky. See you next time, man. All right. And that's it for uh, for Rocky. We got Joe over here. We're going to bring Joe into the mix. Joe, would like to thank you again for, for being here. And uh, if you want to jump in and uh, you've got a couple things to say to everybody here before you sign off. You ready, Hunter? We just want to say thanks for having us, guys. We had a blast watching the, the stack pool. I'm kind of disappointed that uh, there wasn't an Acuna auto in there. I don't know what Big D was thinking. But uh, thank you guys again. Uh, we had a blast. Uh, Hunter, you want to sign off like we always do in our videos? Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and have a blessed day. All right. You guys heard him. All right, Joe and Hunter, thanks a lot, guys, for being here today. Uh, we really, really enjoyed having you in the group. And then, of course, uh, I'm going to jump in a little quickly here before um, we go. Jimmy and I are going to be going live here in a little bit. I've got a auction coming up, and uh, one of the items that we're going to be putting up for auction is going to be this beauty right here. We got a Mookie Betts red foil uh, debut card. That'll be the one to lead off for everybody. It's a high end auction. This particular card just sold on eBay raw. Uh, well, there's been about six of them, anywhere between $202.50 and $0.50, right up to $225 in the last few days. There's been about five or six of them that have sold in the last month. 
and it's only taking off from there. So we're going to start that bidding off at 175 bucks. if anybody wants the Mookie Bets and if they want to stop by into the stream. We've got all kinds of other stuff as well, including an Andrew Benintendi auto. There will be a George Springer auto available and all kinds of other fun stuff. And so um, with that being said, I'm going to flip it over to Jimmy to say his goodbyes. And then we'll uh, we'll reel it in and close this off. So, Jimmy, take it away. All right, guys. Thank you so much uh, for coming in today. I really appreciate each and every one of you, like always. Uh, like Fred said, uh, we'll get we'll, – what do you want to get started? Around 5 p.m., uh, Fred? Is that okay with you? Yeah, that works. Uh, you know, we, we'll probably just need a little time to do some setup here and rearrange my uh, my look. But yeah. Yeah, that's, that works fine. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. And, uh, guys, I really appreciate you being here. Um, and like I, like I always say – uh, stay warm or cool, no matter where you're at in the world. But don't forget, take care of your family. Uh, spend time with your family and your friends. And let's go Reds. Guys, I'll see you here in a little bit. Have a good one. All right, Jimmy. Thanks a lot, man. Great seeing you. Thank you, Fred. And, I appreciate you. All right. And uh, we'll close it off here. Uh, thanks again, everybody, for watching another COA stream. And it's been a great day here on the channel. Uh, we uh, are fortunate to have people that are interested in watching our stuff and, uh, you know, come on back again and we'll see you again next week. We'll be back on again at noon Pacific or three Eastern. And that will be next Saturday for another, another round of stuff. So once again, everybody, thank you again for stopping by the COA channel. We'll see you again next week.